Morning all. If you hear a bunch of birds, it's because there's whole there's a lot of birds around our house today. Uh, it just seems to be increasing every day. And it's fine. It's not like there's horror movies where there's a bunch of birds and all the screaming and the yelling and the hey, Detroit. Let's talk about Detroit. So with Detroit, I obviously don't have every jersey the team's ever worn because that'd be crazy because they've made very small changes over the years. Now, when they committed the league, they were the Detroit Cougars. In 2009, they wore jerseys that were a throwback to this. And here's the, the red wing on the sleeve. Uh, so that this is not obviously the original Cougars jerseys. Uh, from where they took the name from Victoria. And they had these uh, fantastic jerseys. So yeah, it's the stylized D that you see on Detroit Tigers gear now too. And uh, yeah, so they had that back in 1927. And it's uh, it's sharp. This this is a Steve Eiserman. I got this one from uh, Sports K. And this one I got through, I do believe it was through Ice Jerseys. Uh, this one's a 1927 style jersey as well. Uh, and again, so this is with the red wing on the sleeve. So this, this is the style they actually wore in 1927, minus the red wing. This one they didn't. They only had one jersey for each team back then. And most original six teams get it to get it pretty right out of the gate. Although Detroit did go through a couple of rebrandings before they got their footing. So for the NHL 75th anniversary, they brought this back, which was the, the old Falcons jersey as well. So the Falcons would change to this, or Falcons. The, uh, the Cougars would change this before they became the Falcons. Now as the Falcons, they had Detroit Falcons on the front. It was in like a gold font on a background that was very very similar to this i don't have that one i do have this and it's again it's one i got through ice jerseys and it's a lot of stripes because back then apparently stripes were the thing all right we need a lot of horizontal stripes why because look at montreal well, they're ridiculous well let's be a little less ridiculous but still have a lot of stripes gotcha so you end up with this again they brought it back for the 75th anniversary i haven't seen them wear it since that i know of but uh, this was when they were the Cougars, and they would rebrand a couple of times and become the Red Wings, that third name in. So this is a Gordie Howe Heroes of Hockey jersey that I got through Ben H. Uh, and it's a, yeah, it's a 1953-54 recreation by CCM. And you'll notice the logo looks different than what they have now. But other than that, it's pretty darn near the same. There haven't been any big differences between jerseys they wore in the 30s and what they wear now. And again, that's where Detroit fans say, yep, that's the way we like it. There's not a whole lot of change because you don't need to change perfection. There are some who see it that way. And for me, I can kind of get it, but okay, we'll get into that as we get into other iterations of the jersey. All right, now this is a CCM that I got through, through Ben H Sports. And it is virtually identical to what they were on the ice now, minus the neckline. It's a Gordie Howe jersey. And this Detroit Red Wings, this is the Reebok. I got this one through Full Moon jerseys. And it's a Pavel Datsuk, number 13, all that other wonderful stuff. And again, the change to the logo, it, I mean, it's noticeable. They, they make the wing longer and they stylize it a little bit better. It does look better. But that's basically where the change stops. That's it. That's that's where they say, all right, we've got it as good as it's going to get, and we're, we're solid from here. Now, when we get into a Winter Classic jersey, this one was sent to me by a subscriber. At one point I was talking about, I had the Toronto one, and I didn't have the Detroit one, so they sent it to me. And uh, honestly, I love this. I do. I think this is really sharp. And this is the kind of thing I talk about when it comes to Detroit. I find their current jersey to be kind of bland the red one more than the white the white's nice and it's just you know a couple extra stripes just punch it up a little bit i think it could look really really nice i don't think you have to make it all gaudy you don't have to add black i mean this is a black ice jersey i haven't worn in a long time you don't have to add black but you can this one is a is an xl as well so it, it's this is part of the reason i don't like the xl jerseys because then they just they're kind of long so, yeah, but this uh, this Winter Classic jersey was nice, and that game between them and Toronto was a really nice-looking Winter Classic game. Just, I like the jerseys on both teams. Now, when the NHL did their Centennial, Detroit did it upright. So, the star, the, uh, the star, the, the Dallas videos from yesterday, 
the Red Wing logo has a very nice silver sheen to it. And I, when I saw this, I was like, keep it. Keep that. That would be great. And I know they're not the Silver Wings, they're the Red Wings, but it doesn't matter because you're not losing the red, you're changing the white to silver. I, I just think that makes it look so much sharper. I like the, the stripes on this a lot. Of course, it has who won, which years they won the Stanley Cup on here. Uh, on, on both sleeves, it goes 1936, 37, 43, 50, 52. And then over on this one, you got 54, 55, 97, 98, 2002, and 2008. It's a nice cheat sheet. If you're a trivia night and they're asking you Stanley Cup questions, you can go, I don't know, let me see, uh, 2008. But, uh, yeah, and again, this is, this is something I've seen with a lot of the Winter Classics where you have this cross down here. You have the NHL logo down underneath, and you've got the stretchy neckline on it as well. And they still do that on them now. The Winter Classics from this year had that same sort of design to it. So, yeah, I, I do like this jersey a lot. And I still see this one on sale every now and then online. And I'm, I'm not sure why these didn't sell out immediately, but maybe it just wasn't as big a seller as I thought it should have been. Now, one of my favorites is this one. Established 1926, Red Wings up here, Red Wings logo here, and a throwback to the Detroit Cougars look from the 1920s right here, which, of course, people would look at now and go, I'm pretty sure that's a that's a, that's a a steal from, from another Detroit team. Not really. Uh, and and I like the the line going this way and rather than straight across. This is a Zetterberg. I got this one from Retro 2 Heritage on eBay. And no, I, I'm pretty sure they don't have them anymore. Uh, the only stadium one they still had was the Chicago Blackhawks last time I looked. Uh, the one with the four stars on the neckline. So, again, you know, it's this is sharp. And it shows that with Detroit jerseys, you don't have to do a whole lot uh, to make them look pretty darn good. This is one of my favorite jerseys of theirs. So, with Detroit, their current jerseys are as, as, as follows. This is the white one, which again... There's no reason to touch the white one. In my eyes, the white one is just fine. The red one, I don't know. I, like, does an extra stripe make it better for me? Nobody's going to care whether it makes it better for me, of course. And I, I, I agree with that. I 100% do. People complain about the, the Canucks jerseys. I sometimes say, nah, it's fine. Leave it alone. But I, I, for me, anyways, I'll be interested to see what they do if slash when we get a third jersey from Detroit. There's been rumors for a long time what Detroit might do with a third jersey. Do they go with another throwback? That would be my guess. My guess would be they go with another throwback. Or do they take a chance and try something bold and, and different and, and maybe make it something that's, that's I don't know. For me, again, with the Red Wings, they're just kind of bland. you got the one stripe on the bottom. You've got the one stripe here, the logo here, and everything else is just, it's just red. And, and again, I know there are Red Wing fans who love this jersey and love this design. I just like to see... You know, an extra couple of stripes or something, something to kind of punch it up. I'm not talking about changing the main jersey. I'm just saying if they did something else with a third or did something else with a, a an outdoor jersey or something, I, I think it could be really sharp because they've done it before. Like I said, the, the, the older ones that I have here, I have partly for this channel's reasons, of course, and partly because I just I like them. I think they're pretty sharp. But I'd be interested to know what you guys think in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing way through. You just happened upon this video. And yep, this, uh, this one's not going to make 10 minutes because the Red Wings, there's really not a whole lot of change. And Wings fans appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.